the web application was built with service-oriented architecture principles in mind. We did it primarily because the project is very challenging, aggressive, and exciting. So we divided everything into services. We wanted it to be flexible, and we wanted to build a platform where later we can bring in and plug in various new services. We wanted to be very cost-effective and create this to be scalable, as the solution is designed to support tens of thousands of concurrent users. We primarily have three layers, or three tiers of services. We have social services, which have subcategories like content services, information services, and process services. Most of the features like Learn More, like Chat, like other social and Web 2.0 features that we have are powered by a collection of social services. We then have an ESB which exchanges the flow of data to invoke the right services. And finally we have the infrastructure layer, infrastructure services and networking. We have an IBM Blade Center powered by Linux. In the end, we're looking at an application that's made up of a collection of services orchestrated in a particular way to enable a highly engaging and interesting storytelling experience that the virtual visitors can be immersed in while visiting the virtual Forbidden City. Would you like to see the virtual Forbidden World at first hand and have the opportunity to talk to the developers and SOA experts? In April, we're running a private tour within the city for a small group of specially selected IT specialists. This will take approximately 40 minutes and give you the opportunity to hear at first hand how the city was built on SOA principles and how you could develop those principles to increase business agility within your company. If you'd like to find out more information about either the Virtual Forbidden City, SOA or to register your interest in the tour, please visit our website.